but what qualifies someone to be a vc so there are see my role as a vc is quite different from a uh, a vc like gagan or you know somebody who works at matrix or sequoia or axel okay. uh, these people typically take four five bets a year and they they run funds so over if they raise a new fund they'll take three four five bets for maybe first two three years of the fund hmm. and then they have to then they have to wait till the company becomes big and once it becomes big they'll they'll get an exit and they return the fund hmm. so the qualities for that traditional vc role are slightly different from what i am doing where i do a deal a week okay. uh one I, all we do 30 35 companies this year we did 43 companies in a year so hmm. my role is quite different hmm. but uh, to be a general venture capitalist i think the qualities you need are uh one most importantly you need to at least in in tech you need to understand tech and product you need to understand how this world works how technology works how software works uh, you know how these companies can why do why can these companies grow a thousand x in you know a few years times uh, you need to have some kind of uh, strong opinions about the future okay that this is where we are today hmm. but i knew i know for a fact that this is how the world will look like in 2025 or 20 or 30 right, right. uh so f- think of the guy who backed facebook for example peter thiel invested in them right they had nothing when he invested they had they were a college network in right. two three campuses live right. but he could see the vision a world where a large percentage of humanity would be on a social network right so that's that kind of vision is what you need right uh in terms of personality traits you need to be uh, generally curious about the uh, you know about just anything and everything under the sun because uh, predicting the future or trying to take a bet based on what might happen in the future you need you can't think with one model mm. you can't just think financially or technologically or you know politically or economic like you have to think of a lot of different things like for example this year the china apps ban happened right and mm. suddenly all the indian apps lot of the indian apps got a big boost and no nobody would have predicted this right even the vcs who did back the indian apps they would never have predicted that china apps will get banned right so it's a very multi disciplinary type role where you need to keep track of a bunch of things happening in the world and take a view on what the world will be like in the future so curiosity uh you should like meeting people you should genuinely like helping people you should you should have the ability to help also there are people who end up being vcs but like so some of them have maybe never built a tech product or you know, never worked in a tech company or have never been a part of this world but they for whatever reason they became a vc but you can normally see the difference in that kind of a vc mm. and a, you know vc who has been there done that right when uh, someone understands both sides of the yeah game. exactly so the founders because you are sort of you are, you are you are like the sounding board for the founder who's building the company right they'll call you with all kinds of questions should i take this investor or should i launch this product mm. should i go for this channel of marketing etc etc right so you need to have a lot of different uh, experience experiences yeah to be able to actually add value to them or you need to at least have a network where even if you don't know the answer you can bring in some friend or you know know somebody else who can help the founder out hmm. um so yeah curiosity uh by curiosity i mean you should like to learn things for the sake of learning like there are you know there are people who will read a lot or learn a lot but they are, they are very target driven or goal driven i will learn hmm. say everything possible about furniture for example hmm. right or i'll read everything possible about laptops or hmm. uh, electronics or whatever but that's not how good vcs vcs will read anything and everything under the sun hmm. based on curiosity just because they like reading or they like learning more about stuff okay. so number one i would repeat as curiosity number two um this ability to you know think about the future uh, understanding tech and uh, lastly it's also a sales job in a way where uh, vc is not it's not like a uh, it's a it's a two way bind right like suppose i want to fund you you should also want to take my money right because right. if you are a really good founder there's probably like another five people like me who want to fund you right mm. so what makes you choose me over the other five people mm. that's a sales job right. like you have to convince the founder that i'll be the guy who will uh, who will be worth the worth the equity that you're giving up so these these are the traits sort of what you need to you know uh, yeah become a venture capitalist mm. <laughs>